Right, so for this question here, it says by eliminating y from the equations, and it has these two equations here, show that x squared plus 4x minus 8 equals 0. And that is part A, so we're going to solve that one first. So what we want to do is we want to, uh, just as uh, we did in the previous video, if you've watched that one, we're going to sub this uh, top equation into this bottom one. So if we do 2x squared minus x, and then this is where we put the x minus 4 from the y above. So that's going to be x minus 4 there. And that is going to equal 8. So now we're going to expand this bit out, including this bit here. So we do that 2x squared minus x. And then that's going to make x squared there. And then we're going to minus, uh, plus 4x, sorry, move this bit here. And that is still going to equal the 8. So what we want to do is we can uh, take away one of these x squareds. So it's going to be x squared plus 4x. And that's going to equal 8. And then we can take away this 8. So it gets x squared plus 4x minus 8 equals 0. And that there is the same as that bit there in the question. So now we're going to go on to this part B here, which says hence or otherwise solve the simultaneous equations. So that normally means when it says hence, we use the answer from part A in some way to help us with part B. So now we've got this bit here. We can sub this in to our calculator, or we can just uh, factorize it, and we can work out the values for x. Right, so put into our calculator, that gives us the values of x equals minus 2 plus 2 root 3, and also minus 2 minus 2 root 3, which we can also write as just because it just depends on this sign here, we can write plus or minus 2 root 3. And that's a nice little shorthand they've used there in the question. So that is our value there for x. We can then use our values there for x to sub back into this top equation here to work out the values for y. So if we use this um, plus 1 first, we do y equals minus 2 plus 2 root 3 minus 4. So that gives us the value of y, which is minus 6 uh, plus 2 root 3. And if we sub in the other value as well, so it'd be y equals minus 2 minus 2 root 3 minus 4. And that will give us a minus version. So we'll get minus 6 minus 2 root 3. So when, well, we don't actually have to do that. We can just put, using this shorthand here, we can say uh, x equals uh, minus two, uh, 2 plus or minus 2 root 3, and y equals minus 6 plus or minus 2 root 3. And there we go. That is our answer there. You can also put it out as when x equals this version, then y equals that version. And so uh, the same way with that one there, but that one there just makes it a little bit easier.